wish I had never learned of my true lineage. I was happy being Serenor Woolfort, son of Lord Simon and Lady Destra. No matter whose blood runs through your veins, you are still yourself. Thank you, Frederica. But now Roland is gone. Someone's coming. It looks like Benedict. Uh, I am in no mood to speak with him. Let us conceal ourselves. Lord Simon, Lady Destra, today I revealed the truth of Lord Serenoa's birth and drove Prince Roland from the city. Lord Serenoa will be crowned the king of all Glenbrook, but this is merely the first step of many. We will use the salt crystals to ally ourselves with Esfrost and defeat Hyzant. I will see to it that Lord Serenoa becomes the undisputed ruler of all Norzelia. He has the strength and character worthy of sitting atop this realm, and I shall carve that path to the summit for him. He did not wish for the position, nor this power, but no matter how much he resents me, I will ensure his success. He shares your blood, Lady Destra. And as such, I refuse to see him at the mercy of others again. Why would you go so far? Lord Simon, you were a lord worthy of my life's devotion. You were an equal to King Regna in every way. You could have sat upon the throne, and you resigned yourself to life as a vassal and took in Lady Destra at your liege's request. You two treated Lady Destra and Lord Serenoa as if they were no more than pawns to be traded about. Back then, I could not forgive you or King Regna. Lady Destra, even now, I find it hard to forgive myself for being unable to save you. Which is why I will make Lord Serenoa a greater ruler than his father or King Regna could ever be. This is my revenge against myself for being so powerless then. I will not repent. I will devote my life to atoning for my incompetence. Benedict cared very deeply for Lady Destra. No amount of regret will change the past. We have no way to go but forward. My lord, how do the nobles take the news? They were... but... There was not nearly as much contempt or disorder as I had anticipated. I also explained that it was King Roland's own decision to abdicate, once he... I think it may have been the royal signet that kept them so composed. They took it as proof that King Regna deemed Serenoa a worthy successor. Even if they had objections in their heart, they could not act upon them. There is not a soul in Glenbrook who can deny the might and exploits of House Wolford. Princess Cordelia would have been their sole chance to challenge his ascension, but she is already within our hands. Be that as it may, the people must see it as such. I will not be able to get their support should they think I usurped the throne. Precisely. In any case, it's hard to believe our young lord's truly the king of Glenbrook. I never coveted this throne. But we have chosen to ally ourselves with Esfrost and have driven Roland away. I shan't run from my responsibilities any longer. 
I will take up the mantle of king to serve both Glenbrook and House Wolfort. A fine resolve, Your Majesty. We stand with you now, as we always have. Thank you. Benedict, prepare for my ascension and our negotiations with Esfrost. Yes, Your Majesty. I will also continue working on our plans for high... We cannot afford to lose this battle. Do what you must. As you command. Several days later, Serenoa announces that he is the son of the late King Regna, and that Roland, having learned the truth, has abdicated the throne. All suspect that there is more behind the announcement, but House Wolfort has the support of many in the capital city, and so they accept his words. Thus, Serenoa Wolfort takes the throne as the new King of Glenbrook. The joining of House Wolfort and the Kingdom of Glenbrook is yet another twist in the ever-turning narrative of Norzelia. One which Hyzant and Esfrost look on with ever-wary eyes. See, everyone is here. What might this sudden meeting be about? Minister Tenebris, you kept us waiting. Ah, my apologies. You were all summoned here to discuss the recent political changes in Glenbrook. King Roland has conceded the throne to Minister Serenoa. Apparently the two are half-brothers. What? So, this was not a hearing of my crimes. Do you know something about this, Minister Tenebris? No. What will become of Glenbrook? There are rumors that King Roland has absconded, but the people seem oddly composed about the change of power. Is this not a joyous occasion? With Minister Serenoa on the throne, Glenbrook becomes a vassal nation of Hyzant. Not quite. We had intended to use Minister Serenoa to pressure King Roland into giving him control over the Grand Norzelian mine. But now he has both the Salt Crystal Veins and the entire Kingdom of Glenbrook in his hands. Our window of opportunity has closed. Precisely. Any attempt to likewise pressure Minister Serenoa may result in us losing more than we bargained for. He did not strike me as the sort of man to bite the hand that feeds. He usurped the throne from his own master. We cannot afford to let our guards down. Indeed. Hear the Holy One's words. We must be wary of House Wolford. We will summon Minister Exham and his forces back to the city to protect our people. Understood. I will dispatch a bird to him at once. I will have our spies in Glenbrook discern Wolfort's true intentions. We must get our hands on those salt crystals. If House Wolfort dares disobey the goddess, they must be exterminated at once. This is my chance. If I can bring glory to Hyzant and restore my name, soon I will be. I did not foresee Serenoa becoming king of Glenbrook. What became of the abdicated King Roland? Official reports say he left the capital to live a life of seclusion, but rumor has it that he absconded after losing a duel to Lord Serenoa. Roland concealed his identity and fought hard to reclaim his kingdom. He would not so easily relinquish the throne. The rumors are likely closer to the truth than the reports. So, House Wolfort usurped the throne. I did not take Serenoa for a man who had cast off the shackles of servitude by force. How fascinating it would be if the caged hawk broke free to soar the skies. 
Without Prince Roland around, there is hope yet of restoring our relations with Glenbrook. Perhaps we could ask Lady Frederica to help us negotiate. Glenbrook holds the salt crystal veins in their hands. No amount of negotiations would end in our favor. A bird that has flown the coop must be shot down. Whether they perish or return to a cage is up 